Hello everyone, uh, I'm gonna show you how to install the mod pack properly. So I'm gonna go straight right to it. So first you download the mod pack it's over here on the link. It's already been updated so it's fine. And later I might put uh, another link for the legacy launcher. Because we're gonna use legacy launcher as our main launcher. First is you install this launcher. So you download the launcher first. You install the launcher. Double click the launcher. So you double click this one. It says stable. So yeah, it will open up like that like this first is you make an account if you don't have an account so for those who already have an account i guess i could put a timestamp first you add and then you go to ellie.by skin system and then you log in and open in browser and you make a new account now you could use your whatever email you want after you've made an account you put a skin in there and when you come back here you click this and then you log in after you've logged in you select that account and you go back here home and it'll look like this next is you pick the minecraft version so what we're going to be using is forge 1.20.1 after picking forge 1.20.1 you have to go here to launcher and game preferences click the three lines launcher and game preferences and then now that you're here you go to directory and click the arrow button down this one so it will usually say don't use separate folders so what you have to do then is you select a uh, use separate folder for each version so it'll just set to that after that adjust your uh, ram allocation here if you have eight gigabytes of ram you should set it to four four if you have 16 you could uh, you could use like maybe the same amount as i do 7168 so yeah just set it to four four if you're eight gigabytes of ram and after setting both of those you save now that you've saved it enter the game so when you're already in the game you have to quit you have to exit the game it will come back here after you've come back here you've basically already automatically made a folder for the game file so what you have to do to get to the game file click here on the folder and it will show open forge 1.20 folder open forge 1.20 folder Usually, it's not going to have this many files and folders. So next, you're going to have to go and find where you've downloaded the mod pack uh, zip or rar file. So there's a reason why I, I named it copy all to home for 1.20.1. So it's, it's pretty obvious that you have to copy paste the files in here to here. So you could double click the rar file exit whatever needs to be exited you just drag and drop all of them here so when you drag and drop all of them here it will show up it will ask you if you want to replace some files go ahead and just replace them and it will also ask you if you want to skip some files because some files cannot be uh, replaced if it gives you the option to replace just go ahead and keep replacing and then keep skipping if you need to skip it and then when you're done you could exit this and then you're pretty much good you just reload this you wait a bit it'll do that if that doesn't happen if it stays there forever just exit it load up the launcher again and you just enter the game you press enter the game and this will show up and then it'll actually load up the game okay so now it'll look like this you did white screen now you're in the game you're all good it already would have my settings from the keybinds if you have side buttons on the mouse then that's even better but if you don't try to search for like search for button 4 or 5 so press button 4 and then bind these to whatever works for you same for button 5 it's only zoom so you could bind this to anything that works for you and also uh go ahead and press here this is where all the mods are so whatever mod you have to search up it's over here like fancy block particles and you can go to config like that there's also built-in shaders if you want to use shaders you could just turn it on if you want vanilla aa and pastel shaders are like the more performance shaders and these two are like the more pretty shaders and for the settings here it's already been set the lowest uh most optimal way i can find if you have an, a lower a uh, more lower end pc you could turn it to six if you want and yeah you're pretty good to go just go to multiplayer then add the server the ip is in the server uh in the discord server all right thanks for listening hopefully the tutorial was easy to follow all right bye